Hey y'all, I just wanted to come in real quick and um, I want to give a shout out to Lisa Cabrera. I just got finished watching her videos saying how drug related deaths are now up to 175 per day. Per day. That is amazing because like a couple months ago it just went up and increased from 91 per day. Then it went to 145 per day. And now, today, it's up to 175. And to be honest and tell you guys the truth, I think it's a lot higher than that. I don't think they're really giving us the real numbers. If they're saying it's 175, we know it's at least 350 per day that's dying from drug overdoses. And you know what? Trump came out and said that it was a national emergency and that he was going to do something about it. But you know what? He ain't gonna do shit about this. He could give less than a fuck about the American people, especially these junkies. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He comes from a different status, a different class. He could care less about the lower man in this country. I mean, really, what the fuck were Trump supporters thinking about? Did they honestly think that this man gave a fuck about him? Are you serious? This man don't care. He's gonna let them die. And let me tell you, that 175 per day, within the next month, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. They're going to come out and they're going to show reports saying that it's increased to at least 225 per day. I guarantee you. Because you know what Trump just did today? He just put an executive order in to take away the Affordable Care Act. He just put that in today. He signed an executive order. His supporters are the main ones who take advantage of this health care insurance, but do you think he cares? No, he doesn't care. I mean, how many more ways does he have to show you and prove to you that he doesn't care about your life? He doesn't care. You want to know why? Because he's part of the one percenters in America. He's a part of that. That man never did a day's work in his entire life. All of his money was inherited from his father. All that stuff that we saw with him being in movies and being the real estate mogul, where do you think he got the money from? He got that money from his father. That money was passed down. His father was into doing illegal activity. What was he doing? Um, I believe it has something to do with um, bootlegging alcohol. Bootlegging alcohol and gambling is how his dad got his money. He didn't earn his money through a, hard, a honest hard day's work. It was by way of illegal activity. So what you think Trump is going to do? Think he's an honest, hardworking man? No, he's not. He got all of his supporters thinking and believing that he was going to do something for this country. That goes to show the state that this country is currently in. The people in this country are seriously suffering. They, getting hit. they literally getting hit left and right with all kind of plagues. You got the drug plague going on. The sun is getting hotter, so a lot of people can't be out in the sun as long as they used to be. You got illnesses, you got diseases that's going on. Mother Nature doing her thing. People losing jobs left and right. So, I just hope they understand that Trump really don't care about them. And it's not going to shock or surprise me to see these numbers double. At hell, even quadruple over the next three months the next three months because he's also in the process of canceling out the Iran nuclear deal so we know that's going to bring in more trouble you know Korea they still want to bomb us but yeah I'm not shocked or surprised by the numbers you know I heard that 175 per day I already knew it was 175 I knew it was 100 we were actually at 175 per day when they were saying it was 91 per day. So now that they're saying 175 per day, best believe we at 350 per day. And it has no sign of slowing down because one, the people don't even want to give up the drugs. You know, that's one thing. You could work towards a solution if the people actually wanted to give up the drugs, but these people don't want to give up the drugs. They want to continue to do the drugs. This is their thing. This is their lifestyle. In fact, they'd be willing to go to war with you if you said anything about taking away drugs. Not about to happen. 
but yeah I just wanted to come on share that report that I heard from Lisa this morning like I said I don't know about you but I'm not shocked or surprised this doesn't surprise me at all so um I want you to go through leave a comment down in the comment section about how you feel about this number and I'm telling you it's going to triple not it's not just going to double it's going to triple leave your comments in the comment share and uh, the comment section like and subscribe and subscribe to this channel